So to begin, you can click the create button in the top area here where it says create, and then come down to assignment. Now, and then you would want to start populating the fields here with um, the instructions and titles that you would like. So it's a drag and drop activity, software and hardware, because this is a computer basics class. And then you can paste the instructions here. These are my instructions I would usually attach to any Jamboard activity. And then I would want to change the topic because I want it to be on the unit number one, basic computer hardware and software skills. Now to attach the Jamboard onto this assignment, just click add and then come down to Google Drive or link. These two options here are available to you to attach the Jamboard activity. Now I'm going to click on link just for this example. I'm going to demonstrate it using the Google Drive after. But I'm going to click on link as I said. And a dialog box would appear um, with a provision for me to paste the link in this box. Now, where does the link come from, you may ask? It comes from your Google Jamboard file. Now, my file is already open here, so I'm just going to click on the file and then click on the share button in the top right hand area. Now, there are some settings here surrounding how this link can be shared. Just come down to um, where it says get link. You can choose to copy the link if you're fine with these settings right here, or you can click on change to anyone with the link. That is up to you. What is your objective will determine how you would set these settings. But for me, I'm going to leave it as it is right here and then click done. So I have my link. I'm going back to my class and I'm going to paste it in the space provided and then click add. So my Jamboard is attached, but I'm not finished as yet though. I have to now change how I'm sharing this activity. Now I want the students to edit it, not just view it. So I want to hit the arrow here, which will give me a list to select the options. Um, students can edit file or make a copy for a student. My option here that I would want would be um, students can edit file because it is an activity that would require some form of editing. And that's it. That's how I attach it using the link. All I need to do now is click assign and my students will receive a notification just like any other assignment um, containing this Jamboy activity. And from the teacher view, this is what it would look like. Now, if they want to turn it in, of course, they will have to turn it in on their side. Um, and it would appear here um, how many have been turned in, uh, where does how many are saying. I only have one student in this class, so don't mind that number one there. All right, so the another example, the next example, which is to attach it using a Google Drive um, document. I'm just going to click edit here. Um, just come back over here to add and then come down to drive, right? And select the file from my Google Drive. Now I'm in my recent tab, and of course, it would appear here because I recently edited this file, so it would have come up in my recents. But if you don't see it here, you can always click on drive, providing that you know where, where it is, and navigate through folders. Now, I didn't save it in any folder, I just place it right here. So I can access it quickly. So I'm going to select it and then click add. So my file have been attached once again. And just like before with the link, I now have to change the set, this setting right here, which is from students can view file to students can edit file. And that's it. I have attached it as a Google Drive and I'm now going to assign it. And it's a double um, submission process a double confirmation process and that's it i have attached the assignment using a link and i have attached the assignment um, from a file from google google drive so i hope this was helpful if you have any comments please please leave them in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe